Welcome back to another episode of This is Kaya, the Master Blaster. And we are going to land on this ship right up there because there are a few. Well, this is the other ship uh, I did in the previous episode. Uh, and I'm actually looking for the last remaining two geocules. And one of them is on this ship. And the other one is presumably on that ship. Uh, and there's no way for you to actually know that there's a ship. Because, well, yada yada. Uh, well, you have to explore the area uh, and just look at the ship and then mark the ship. And I forgot to do that for some reason. I don't know why I not did the mark on there. Anyway, um, and the other ship too. Like, the thing is, you cannot see them on the map itself. And that's what makes it a little bit problematic. Because you're looking uh, all around the map, you think uh, to yourself, okay, I never was uh, on uh, at this part of the map or at this part of the map and so on and so forth. Uh, you're going from uh, domain to teleporter to whatnot. Uh, oh, there's a chest down there too. And oh, there's a geocule. All right, uh, I'm going to, l how do I get up there? How did this guy even get up there? How? Like, I can just climb like a... Oh, actually, no, I can't climb. Is there some kind of ladder system? <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, no, no sudden movements. Let's just uh, let the stamina recharge. There we go. Uh, before we uh, talk to Xuli Yuji, uh, let's get this to cure. This will be. I also checked. Uh, there's also one additional geo cure just for the people who think that <laughs> they want to just uh, check the whole area yet again just to get an additional one. So. You don't need to get 100% of geocules in order to level up the statue. You just need 99.9999999999% of the cules, meaning there's one extra cule. So, uh, what are you up to? Hey, now, it's dangerous up here in the crow's nest. Don't come up here if you have not important business. Um, and who might you be? I'm the ship's lookout, Xuliushi. If you were older, you might have heard some tales about me. Not that it's anything worth talking about, of course. Uh, so, about the tales then. Uh, you ever hear the name Third Round Knockout? That place used to be some no-name watering hole. The specialty there was the wine fermented with sweet rice balls. But they were waxy and soft, and the wine was all there was to the soup. I was young then, and I'd lost a bed with some folks. I had three bowls in a row, and got so plastered that I fell off the ship and into the sea, right as we were weighing anchor. That incident gave the pub its name, Third Round Knockout. It's also lost me my job. <laughs> no one wanted a sailor too deep into this bottle. Only Captain Bido was willing to give me a chance to turn over a new leaf. And that's how it happens. I hope my story can serve as a lesson to you, traveler. And the lesson learned is, if you want to uh, be on the ship with Baido, get knocked out. So, it's that easy. Now then. Oh, 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 there's a... Ah, there's a luxurious chest. Oh, yeah. Is it a, is it a precious or luxurious? I did it then. Okay. Uh, there we go. Wait for it. And look, it's a luxurious one. Uh, and it opens, of course, towards me. And it gives you the items immediately. Not like all the other chests that spew them out. And then you have to collect them. No, this is a safety chest. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they did that. Um, but yeah, it's nice that you see the items coming out of the chest. It's um, It has a nice animation to it. It's, it's flashy and everything. Uh, Angry Man's voice yet again. Who the heck are you? Get out of my lawn. Get out of the ship. So, oh. Jusa, the chief mate Alcor. You're the traveler. What are you doing here? Just looking right, as usual. 
Looking around, you think you can waltz in here and look at whatever you place. You know what this place is. Forget it. It's pointless. Oi, someone get over here. Tie up this busy boy uh, body and feed them to the fishes. All right, that's all you ruckus. You're pretending to be important when Bardo is not around, right? This troublemaker snug in here, presumably up to no good. And I thought I would just deal with this for Bardo. All right, stop scaring people. If Bido found out you were just tying up anyone who came in, you'd be the one being dealt with. But this troublemaker should have paid for sneaking onto the ship, right? Our ship isn't just for people to come and go as they please. Yes, I must answer for the crimes. Um, how should I make it up to you? Uh, hmm, I have an idea. Bido has anchored the ship here while she goes into the city for business. We can't leave the ship without her orders, and the rest of the fleet is on patrol at sea, so they can't help us now. But some of the crew has errands in the city that they haven't been able to run. If you really want to make it up to us, go around the ship and see who needs help. You seem to be quite interested in our ship anyway, so explore a bit while you're helping out. That's a nice way of telling you to uh, pick up every item for holy crap. And then I have to get up there again. I d didn't I talk to the lookout? Ah, uh, where could Baido be off to? Need help with anything? Ah, uh, it's you. So you actually did go around the ship helping people. Well, I got a job for you. We just pulled into shore, so we haven't had time to restock on food. Out on the open sea for as long eating dried meat every day, it eats away at one's heart. It's not every day we are near port, so we get some fresh food. But I don't know where Baido is at all. At, and the rest of the crew isn't to leave the ship. Uh, it would be great if you could bring us some fowl or raw meat. Leave it to me. Uh, so eager. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. And what about fish? They probably have a lot of fish on the sea. And I... Uh... Wait a minute. No, let's, let's go for fowl. Why not give? Uh, well, this is great. Uh, we can grill a lot of skewers of meat with this. When Baido gets back, she'll have some nice food to chow down on with her drinks. Hey, so you're the cook or what? Uh, we should have something nice to eat. Yep. Well, what happens if you give uh, the meat instead? Like, you can choose whatever you want. And Shui Xing. What a headache. What do these symbols uh, that the previous helmsman drew mean? Are those areas where they encountered Leviathans? What's with the long face? And what symbols do you mean, Lee? Like, someone scratched some symbols somewhere? But where are the symbols? Don't see any. I'm the crew's helmsman. Determining our heading and course is my charge. As is Drew drawing up nautical charts. Our previous helmsman was getting on in years, so I came to take his post. He loved employing some unique symbols to mark his nautical maps, but he never bothered to explain the meaning behind them. But I suppose that might be a quirk endemic to helmsmen. I mean, it's quick and easy if troublesome for anyone else. Uh, I need a bit more in-depth uh, info. Headache, da da da, encounter the Leviathans, and. What about these uh, la, 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 I've been fascinated by marine biology since I was a child, especially these behemoths uh, hidden deep beneath the waves. To be honest, I signed up for this job precisely because I've heard that Captain Baido slew Haishan. More the pity that I haven't had the chance to see a leviathan with my own eyes. I'd really love to see one up close someday. I've had heard some say, let's say, that they saw something like a giant antenna uh, around the Sea of Clyde's now. And, and, yeah, antenna, whatever. It's, uh, is that true or not? Who knows? Perhaps they were just seeing things while dead drunk. Uh, was there another option there or not? Nope. So... We got those two done. Uh, am I at the... Yeah, where am I? I can get even higher up. This would be a perfect spot for a chest up here. Like, Ah, oh, it even looks cool. I call it the sea dragon. Because it's a dragon swimming on the sea. It's fairly simple. It's fairly straightforward. But it explains it pretty well too. Hmm. Oh, they even have similar-ish clothing. That's interesting. 
So Baidu's ship is all about uh, all about image, all about branding. Oh, what do we have here? Some cabbages. We are not interested in cabbages. I am interested in whatever can be investigated over here. Even more cabbages. Uh, kabachi, kabachi, kabachi. Now, little you. Wait, what? Don't I know this dude? When will we finally be able to get off the ship? Need help with anything? Uh, you are the one who snuck onto the ship, right? I could hear Uncle Yuza yelling from halfway across the ship. Did Uncle Yuza frighten you? Eh, relax. He's a good person. He was just trying to act tough and scare you a bit. But when will we finally be able to go into the city? While Baido is busy doing stuff in Liu Harbor, Uncle Juzer won't let us leave the ship. Aunt Yingxing had promised to take me shopping in the city. Then I could go play with Chang Chang. Last time I told Chang Chang I would play with her when I get back. But now you should still be able to go into the city, right? And can you help me out? Find some star conscious uh, for me on the shore i think three will be enough that is done because i am a collector of all sort of things and i did it already aunt ying sing taught me how to make a toy out of star conscious mm, next step is this little you has managed to train me in order to, uh, yeah maybe i learned a little recipe or something there all done can you please take this to cheng cheng for me oh i really want to give it to her myself but baido probably won't be coming back soon and even when she does does come back we might just set straight out to sea again it doesn't seem like i'll be able to make it into the city this time i hope Cheng Cheng won't get mad hmm. there's just a little bit of a problem there's no quick travel way of getting here so what i'm gonna do now even if it would not make much uh, sense uh in connection to uh, the video itself it makes much more sense when playing the game. So we're taking every single mission that they have and then uh, we are doing them on the outside. And if we need to get back, we go uh, back in one go and not in 10 goes or whatever. Furong. Uh, uh, judging by your clothes, I'd say you're the traveler, right? What are you doing on the ship? Do you need uh, any help? You just came to help. Well, I don't need any. Uh, you should go out of here. You can't just come into the ship as you please. That was quick and easy. I didn't even see an eye patch there. Like, uh, they also don't have anything. Same goes for those two. Now, I did see two uh, also other chests. Like, uh, maybe they were up here or whatnot. Where were the chests? Uh, this is some sea drake. Oh! Hmm. Yeah, always stuck up on herbs. Now, uh, Ying Ching. Did user frighten you? Mm, don't take it personally. He's just like that. Uh, he also speaks a bit lightly on uh, account of his poor hearing, but he's really a good person at heart. Okay, so if you aren't busy, think you can help me with something. It's been so long since we've returned to shore, but Yuza is making everyone stay on the ship until Baido gets back. Last time I was in the city, I paid Bolai to buy some supplies in advance for when I returned. Take this letter to Bolai and he'll get someone to bring the supplies to the ship. Just leave it to me. Thank you. But I need someone who gets me onto the ship again, not just the supplies. Um... And all of those missions are, yeah, uh, doable on uh, in Liu. So let's just stock up on all of the missions and then we can do them one at a time. Not sorted though, but... Hmm. Sea Drake, who are you? You don't seem like one of the crew. Need help with anything? I don't need your help with anything. If you aren't one of the crew and you weren't invited, then I suggest you leave. Otherwise, someone may make you leave. And... Uh, Someone does not appreciate a helping hand. Anyway, those three are just there as decoration. Let's get everything uh, from this chest. Uh, my inventory might be filled at any moment, right? Okay, still have a little bit of room left in there. Uh, yeah, hmm. What a bountiful hall, yeah? It's decent. Morag rubber. Who are you? How do you get on the ship? Need help with anything? 
What do you want? Ah, if you're trying to rob me, think again. Get out of here fast or you'll be sorry. And I already robbed them. That's how speedily I am. Or oh, fast, that's also another word for it. Sully, haven't seen you before. You aren't one of the crew, are you? Eh, it's been a long time since the stranger came on the ship. <laughs> that happens. No, need help with anything. I won't ask any random stranger for help. You should leave. Okay. So, do we have like a, uh, a hidden uh, platform in the back of the ship? Not so much. And it's also powered by steam. Or it has a uh, an, an uh, alternate powering move. Ah, this is how you would get onto the ship because the rest might be a bit too steep. And then you climb up the anchor. That is actually a really good way of getting up there. Anyway, um, I was talking to her, to her, to her. Then there's this one uh, dude missing. How do you usually get up there normally? Don't they have a way for you? There. To get up there, you use the mast. Okay. Ah, it's the, it's the lookout dude again, is it? It's the only one that's missing. But I want to have a another kind of look around. Just in case. Okay, how would you... You just climb up even further, okay. Uh, this was where the chest was found. There we go. Oh no, I have to be careful with this. Uh, otherwise I will run out of stamina once I... Kind of reach the top. Oh no, I have to be really careful now. Mm. Oh, that was close. Ah, too bad there's nothing on the first mast, though. Let's get around it. So, Xuliushi. Ah, uh, where'd you come from? I didn't see you. Well, I came from the bottom. Now I'm here. <laughs> I started the, well, I started the top, then I went through the bottom, then I'm back up again. Need help with anything? Uh, I don't have anything you can help me with. You should go back to wherever you snug up on from me. Um, stirring up trouble on this ship won't do you any good. Anyway, now we can do the other two missions. Uh, one of them is a lone ship in... Oh, no. Uh... Every mission connected to the ship, alone ship in Guyin, uh, is connected to it. So we have to talk to Chang Chang and Bolai. Let's see. Both of them were somewhere close to this teleporter. Let's do that. Let's go to the first one, uh, which is north east ish. This way? Yeah. Uh, ah, that's Chang Chang. Little Yu isn't uh, back yet, is he? This is a gift from Little Yu. Little Yu is back. When uh, then? Why didn't he come over himself? Last time he said he would come play with me, but it's been forever. He can't leave the ship now. Ah, okay. He said the same thing the time before last, when a big tall man brought me a gift from him. Nothing he can do about it, I guess. I'm sure it's all because of Baido again. But thank you anyway for the gift. Please thank Little Yu for me as well. Uh, when my daddy comes back, I'll ask him to take me to the ship Little Yu is on. If he can't come here, I can at least go to him. Hmm. That's also one way of doing it. And... Uh, is that the... No, it's, uh, that's not the dude. The thing is, it doesn't really have this uh, white triangle that shows me that I have to go downstairs. Bulai. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, why hasn't anyone come? This is from Jingjing. So now you're delivering the letter. What about the guy from the last time? He's not with you, is he? Ah, that's good. Okay, the supplies are all ready. I'll get someone to take them over in a bit. Guyun Stone Forest, that's a long way. I will probably need to hire a boat to get there. The Jingjing's last payment should be enough to cover it, though. Um, yeah. Report back to Jingjing. 
Uh, about that boat. Uh, Could you insert for us is a long way from the city. I know that's why I was talking to you about it. <laughs> because it is a long ass road. Like, come on. I need someone with a ship. <laughs> That also wants to... Or oh, what if I uh, talk to the one who had a boat down here? Like... No. Uh, he might only um, get people there that actually... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, I uh, I mix those two ships together. Um, like the one who can bring you onto the ship, uh, it's just, it's just the Pearl Galley first and foremost, where you can get onto, and uh, this one has the uh, has a boat. The other one doesn't seem to have one. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get the oh boat fly. こいつはどうだ。よっ。おとなしく仕上がれ。こいつはどうだ。ギジオ。コモン。レベル Otherwise, I will have a bit of a problem. Like, uh, uh, Whopper Flower is already pretty difficult to defeat. Like, that's okay. Makes sense. Uh, but what does not make sense uh, is the fact that it just takes ages. Oh, come on, really? Ah. Uh, take ages to defeat them uh, if you don't have the right equipment like it's not just that they have more health uh, and you have to have uh, have to attack them more often it's also that their resistance is higher altogether it's just weird it's absolutely weird or maybe uh, the health of the enemies is always the same and the resistance increases huh that's actually a really nice way of keeping the um, difficulty of the enemies in check. Um, or to have uh, the NPCs have similar numbers altogether. Like, you have a base health, uh, like enemy health, and then you have a resistance multiplier that uh, lowers your incoming damage, your outgoing damage, but the enemies' uh, incoming damage in this case as well. So, they have resistance. You would usually deal, let's say, a thousand damage, but now you only deal 500 damage. And the enemy's health doesn't need to change for this. It's actually quite nice. From a programming standpoint, I would say that this is the better solution. Because otherwise you will uh, end up with one million health points on those enemies at some point. It's okay to mm -hmm. increase your uh, the health of the character, but it should be around some number range or in some uh, number range that you can handle in your mind. Like 1 million health is nice and all, but it's too much. Um, 10,000 uh, gets tricky. 1,000 is something you can do stuff with. Like... Um, everything lower than 10,000 is an okay-ish health pool. Uh, maybe even lower than 1,000 altogether. Uh, like, uh, we need numbers that are easily handleable. Kind of like that. Because, uh, if you think about it, uh, the enemy could deal little amounts of damage or high amounts of damage. Actually, that's a pretty interesting, uh, thing to keep in mind as well. Um... The higher your health pool is, the more variety the enemy has to deal damage. Like, he could deal um, 
like a a burst kind of damage like it's an instant form but it and it's also a lot of damage or well it at least feels like a lot of damage because it instantly uh damages you for let's say 500 and you have 1000 health so it's half of your health just gone like that poof and then uh there are also the um uh the 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 the, the, the lower damage numbers but they can be much larger because there are some let's say there's a dot the damage over time that happens for maybe 20 seconds or whatnot and if you get affected by it then all of a sudden you lose let's say 800 health or 200 or whatever but you don't notice it because the uh, ticking uh, or the amount of damage that happens is just so low that only if you would add all of the damage numbers together, you would actually see how strong this effect is. It's actually quite interesting too. Anyway, uh, Ying Ting, did you deliver the letter? Yes. Thank you for your help. Otherwise, I would have had to ask user to deliver it again. He'd only scare a lie. Then, uh, user have to come back and drag me over anyway to explain the situation to Polai. Hmm. Uh, just in case we can't leave the ship the next time we re report to port either. Hmm. Now, what about the little Did you give me a present to Cheng Chang? She loved it. Uh, but yeah, she's also coming to see you. Yeah, last time she also said she was going to have her daddy bring her onto the ship. But by don't, Uncle Yuza won't let any strangers even get near the ship. Anyway, uh, thanks again for your help. Okay, we did that, and now I have to talk to Uncle Yuza yet again. You lent a hand to so many people on the ship. I lost track. Well, it's just two people on the ship. Um, maybe a, a third one as well, but that was just a little mission, if anything. Uh, I think it was just two missions. I'm curious, how did you get to so good at helping people? Uh, just by traveling around. Hmm. I help people solve problems for a living, yep. Help people solve problems, ah, I think I know what you mean by problems. But I understand the rule of the trade, I won't press you. Take these, consider thanks for helping us out. Well, you're forgiven, ah, yeah, the, 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 the meat part. Well, you're forgiven for sneaking onto the ship, so no harm come of it. Anyway, but remember, if you board the ship in the future, do it properly. Alright, you can go now. I have some work on the ship to take over. As soon as we return from Inazuma, Baido had us anchor the ship here while she went to Liu Harbor. But she's been gone for so long now, it's not good to just be stuck here by the Guyun Forest. I should go into the city and look for her. Well, is there no other way of getting onto the bloody city or like away from this ship? Uh, black pack perch stew, sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, let's change this. Wait a minute. Uh, ship. Confirm. And the other ship here, this one can be elite. It's really far out, actually. Really. Hmm. Too bad I haven't found any way of. Hmm. Any way of getting back onto the ship. There's no boat service. But alright. I did manage to get all of the remaining geo cures. Now I can uh, level up the statue of the seven. Worship the statue. And now what I can do is get the last stone of remembrance. And with this we have the item that we need for our next mission. Because the stone of remembrance is important. We got the unmovable mount, new effort have been acknowledged. Yeah. Do I get something from it? An achievement? Something? Probably an achievement. Yeah, that's the achievement. Um upgrade the statue of the seven to the maximum. That is doable. And I didn't look onto the side. Like I could have gotten a decent amount of moral for it. But yeah. Uh, let's ascend, let's see. Yes, I can ascend her too. That's perfect. Let's do that. Ascend her with the rem Well, it's, mm, I won't manage to level up completely, will I? Probably not. Um, let's claim the reward for it. Yeah, ascension to 90 takes a little while. 
I could do some level ups here. The problem is just how many level ups could I have? <laughs> Only eight. So okay, uh, seven is one level up. Or is it six? And what is CDP? Character development point. <laughs> so so CDP what? What kind of uh, what is this strange abomination? And what about his ascension? Ah, uh, why won't it work? Ah, sixty thousand. So yeah, that's a bit of an iffy thing. Ah, uh, the problem with Bennett as well, right? Like he has energy recharge. Mm. Ah, uh, as a substat, it's the same as uh, chaos substat though. So no harm done there. But it's just that it's it, it kind of feels weird. Like this guy at least has defend no duo damage bonus which is pretty good for the extra damage uh her bonus is of course the where is this no i can't do this now she needs to be leveled up to the max first uh, okay it's just the wind gliders that you can change how many are there i still have to say that this wind glider looks pretty good if it would have it on Albedo, that would be pretty sweet. Reward for reaching a certain level of frost bearing tree offering. So I can do that with ease then to place it for reward for reaching a certain reputation level in Mondstadt, which is the maximum. Then you have the Liu thingy, which is also the maximum. And this is for the tree offering on the dragon spine. I always say spire because this is just in my brain memory thing, muscle memory, whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, I did manage to get the stones of remembrance, uh, which means I can continue with the next mission, which is in uh, the Kuiju slope thingy right over there. That's pretty, pretty damn cool. And of course, I also could try to get another item from this bloody domain. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's let's let let's try that as a little end uh, to the whole ship business thing. Uh, but this time we're going to kick off Noel uh, from the team. The thing is, I think because of her, I did a lot of damage uh, with Albedo. I could go with what is match uh, matches with different people. I need to click on start and yeah, get this one. Hmm, superconduct, bloody supercon- oh no, Lisa needs to be- why is she not- why is she not completely healed? I need her useful- bam! Oh no. No, 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 oh. no. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh. Oh, no. Whew. Whoa. That was a lot of damage. But I think it was more albedo, right? I think so. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Go there. Nice, 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 nice. Call it. Wait a minute, there we go. Otonashku Shiagari. Jotto Bidi Bidi Sasenite. Jotto Bidi Bidi Sasenite. Ah, look at this. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. 
Okay, come on, do 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 attack the bunny, do attack the yes. Time to attack the bunny. Maybe run away. Go into aim mode. That should do the trick. Perfect. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. That's actually pretty decent. No, 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 no. Go for the bunny. Go for the bunny. Go for the bunny. Yes. And it's going to change. It's going to explode. It's going to target me. Okay. Uh, I'm hitting at the top section of the head. Oh, no. That was... Anyway, uh, I was aiming at the uh, top section of the head just so I can hit it almost all the time. If the arrows fall down because of gravity. There we go again. Please go on range mode and it's going into range mode. Perfect. Oh my and we got it. Nice. Only thing I need to do now is get off their shields. So say no core. Oh, that was quick. So. Yeah. Oh. Ah. What if I have it? Oh no, he's dead. Oh why? 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 Uh, wait a minute. What kind of item? This one resurrects, and I only have one of it. Because that's any good or whatnot. Uh, it's just that I like to use up the items. Oh, not again. What the hell? This guy has to come on, come on. And that perfect. Once, twice, first. <laughs> Almost got it. And it was also looking into the whole burning idea because I thought that there's a singular elemental. <laughs> Effect in this game, but there's not. You can't just have fire on the enemy. What you need is fire on a burning enemy, uh, a dendro enemy. There we go. And then you can trigger the burning effect altogether. But yeah, in uh, order to have something separate on the enemy that is supposed to uh, dish damage, also, uh, you need at least two different elements that interact with each other. Superconductor, vaporize, meld. For example, then we have okay. Except for crystallize, crystallize is its own thing, and swirl too. But swirl also does damage. Ah, uh, clear time six minutes. It's decent. Uh, if you think about it, the catalyst user that I have, of course, it's not the right flower, but okay. It's a decent start. It's a decent start. We always get at least one five star item. Uh, and it, well, of course, it's always well, it's not always the petrol, it could also be the orange, uh, orange set. Hmm. So, what can I do now? I could farm some other little stuff here. Maybe fight some ba Oh, yeah, fight some bandits. 
Let's teleport over there. And test it out. Because they did not leave behind the coins that often, the golden ones. Um. Ah! Oh, yes. It actually worked. I got one. <laughs> but I actually had to run towards it. Maybe if I used Amber, it would have been done. Nah, no. Amber doesn't really have the right aim for it. Ah, they're only 74. No, no, no. I wanted to use the ability, but then I completely forgot that, yeah. There are more enemies up there, and I would really like to use my ultimate here. Hmm. Also really interesting, like if you getting into a fight or if you start the fight, then those NPCs sometimes say something and this overlap all together because they, I think it's at least three enemies, not just two, the trigger the dialogue. Ooh. Interesting. Maybe this is also why you should go for energy recharge, so you can use an ultimate that's always ready all the time. So, ultimate uh, abilities still have a cooldown time, therefore you can't just spam it over and over and over again. And also, they need to be charged up, so if you can minimize both somewhat, or equally well, then uh, your chances of using the ability may increase by a very high amount because either you don't have enough energy in order to use it or you don't have the right time yet huh. both will boost it now uh, i actually wanted to get some golden coins from them though Alrighty, uh what can i do like this adventures oh yes uh, let's check what is explored. This is at 95%. Before I thought uh, it was at 91 or something. Okay, this is at 97, 99. Oh, I want Leo to be at 100. That would be so sweet. Uh, but I have to get the treasure explorer. Otherwise, there's no way for me to actually figure out where everything is. Um, What about the other stuff? 99%? Hmm... Could be anything really and wait a minute um did i ah uh, there could be something in that part of the map too like someone maybe high up there then i just have to use uh, the compass in order to get it hmm all right Let's look at the items. How many do we have? Nine. Okay. Now I really need to get rid of some of them. I'm just not quite sure which ones. So. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I could level that up. That's ah, something in there. Hmm. Couldn't level up to the maximum, that's a bit iffy. You could level up like one level at a time, but come on. We're not gonna do that. Oh, wait a minute. I need to level up this, right? No, not this. Uh, this is on the field. I need to level up solar isotherm. Uh, I wanted to. Okay. Solar isotherm level up doesn't really work. Uh, who else could we level up? Mm, I could level up that. But how often do I use this ability and does it actually make sense? Like 39, 39, what? One, sh uh, one hit, two hit. But this is the auto auto attack. Like you do like, uh, if you get close to the enemy, then you can do this without aiming. And then you have your aim shot at 47%. It's kind of weird though, uh, that the aim shot is slightly higher. Or uh, no, slightly lower than her third shot. And then it increases by 1% from the 3rd to the 4th. And then it increases by 
13% afterwards. Like, that's a strange increase. So the more you normally attack, the higher the damage will be as well. Then we have, like, fully charged aim shot. That only seem to be fully charged aim shot, so... Uh, because the normal aim shot just charges automatically, I believe. So we got 130. Uh, how much? How many auto hits would that be? What about the aim shot? It's 47. Uh, one, two, three, four of them. Yeah. No, actually, no. It's it's three. Uh, three aim shots equal. Uh. A fully charged shot. Hmm. Now, how quickly can you do three aim shots compared to a fully charged one? Hmm. I just want to level it up, but it wouldn't be that useful. Uh, who else could be useful? Um, I could level up her. Nah, let's ignore that. What was the idea, actually? To level up some artifacts, but I don't have any other... Except for one. Um, yeah, let's do that. And also, what you can do is you can delete artifacts. So you have to click at the bin at the bottom left. And then you can select up to 100 items. And then you get a certain amount of more of them. If you delete... I actually want to test that out. Because I haven't done so, so far. Ah, uh, there we go. So, uh, and you can only destroy items that have not yet been leveled up. So let's destroy this one. And it would uh, turn into whatever this amount of miles. This item will be destroyed. This action cannot be undone. Yes. Destroy. So, 420 Mora. If I'm in dire need of Mora, then I could do this. Only problem is, how am I going to select multiple items quickly so I don't need to uh, scroll all the way down all the time hmm we heard let's go for details ah that enhancement come on Let's see if I will run out of experience before or after. Yeah, slightly after. Defense increases. The last level up will be interesting, but for now I don't have the right mora for it. Fifty-five point eight percent. It's just too much damage. Too much damn it anyway let's end the episode the way we started or oh, we actually didn't start this episode in did we or was I already in you hmm. maybe I was in the ship whatever let's end this episode for now then we can continue at another time at the land like and subscribe of course the time